yesterday when we had to stick this little uh, protective cover on. Hi everyone, how's it going? Well, why I'm blabbing on about the plastic front cover, that was already fitted in the last video by the way, note to myself. I thought I'd tell you why you still haven't seen me fitting the cylinder heads. Well, the reason is I'm really behind in editing these videos. I've filmed hours of work in the garage with head rebuilds, fuel system refurbishment, subframe modifications and such, but I just can't seem to get into a rhythm for doing the editing. I'm very sorry. Well, in fact, at the time of recording this voiceover, the engine is actually reassembled. Here's a photo to prove it. I promise that in the next vid, I will show you how to refurbish cylinder heads with valve seat rectification, etc., new valves, blah, blah, blah. In the meantime, this is the fourth and final video on the bottom end rebuild. And the rebuild seems to be panning out nicely. Ha ha. Enjoy. Last clean, make sure. Okay. That's the pickup tube perfectly clean. Just gonna give it a little coat of WD. Rusting up the time it takes to finish reassembling the engine. New gasket. The question is. Does the uh, um, the main gasket, sump pan gasket, does that need to go on first before doing up the pickup? That is a question we haven't asked ourselves. So I guess we're going to have to see now. If we do the pickup, can we still put the uh, Some time gasket in place. And the answer is yes. We still put the sump pan gasket into place, even with the pickup bolt there into place. So. Cleaned all the heads of the bolts, well, wire brush them, going to spray them with uh, anti rust paint, and Bob's your uncle. And then the sump pan can be bolted back on permanently.
Je moet dan even boel. 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 Need to cut off the excess gasket there. It will cause the uh, sampan gasket to ride up. It won't be any good just with a razor blade. As usual, we have problems. We're going to have to notch out a little bit of plastic here because the anti windage gasket, whatever, touches the um, studs. the same there as well. And the same at the back. Hmm. Can't remember that problem on the other gasket. That was probably modified. In fact I can see it's been ground away. I probably did that at the time. And have to grind those up. Cleaned it before refitting it. There are no dust particles. There you go. Clearance. 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 And we need to... Okay, last chance to check. We haven't left anything undone inside the engine. All looking good to me. Just going to put a bit of mastic just on these joints here where the gap is. Uh, a little bit uneven and there could be seepage just a bit of gymnastic across there Okay. Okay. All 
kind of lines up. Seems to be good. You can see there are inserts, metal insert spacers. So the sump pan doesn't need to be over tightened. It does need to be tightened down. Our lovely baffled custom sump pan. The flippy flapping is still flippy flapping. the holes in the block and then all our lovely new bolts well old bolts painted to look like new Threading allowed today. <laughs> You're missing one bolt. Where is my last bolt? Excuse me while I go and look for my last bolt. Okay, put the camera back on its little handheld stand. That way you can see me just checking the torque on everything. Tick, 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 tick. That one's nice. That one's nice. That one's nice. That one's nice. This is the uh, oil level sender, which which works, but we don't know what we can do with the signal because our computer can't interpret it. But we're going to put it back in. We might, we might get it working one day. However, I haven't found a new O-ring the right size for that. Not, there wasn't one with the kit either. So. We're just going to have to seal it up. Like this. Do not cross thread, you're only made of plastic. Adjustable spanner. Okay, 
And there it goes. Pretty much everything we assembled on the bottom end of the engine. Still need the uh, oil filter assembly there. You might paint the block where the green paint's flaked off a little bit before we put the uh, these back in. Right. So, camera on the engine. Look into the camera. So that's going to be it for today. Engine pretty much assembled on the bottom end. So that's good enough for me for today. See you later. <laughs> Found it. Excuse me why. Put some black paint on it and on my fingers at the same time.